Good morning, folks. We have a couple news articles today that are exceptionally relevant for our community. We've got a look at weather as well, and we're starting with the sun here over at spaceweathernews.com. Taking a look at the last 24 hours on our star here in 193 angstroms, you do see how calm it was. No flashes, we had no solar flares, there are no sunspots, it is a blank disk. Let's come next to the solar wind. Up top, BZ in red, phi angle in blue. Both shifting, and with that phi angle shift, slightly increased density. We are seeing the KP budge up slightly from the floor. We did have an interesting plasma penetration event detected by Karuna last night. The coronal holes on the north beginning to turn out. We do expect their solar wind to arrive here at Earth at some point tonight or tomorrow. You can see the next one already coming in top left. So you remember this article from yesterday about using ion density profiles in the nighttime ionosphere to forecast seismicity. Well, I quickly remembered that NASA is trying to do something like that, so I went searching on their IONO page and I found their natural hazard detection link. Sadly, we as the public are not allowed to see it. I guess they're worried that we'll cause some kind of a panic. Interesting article here about the sun and happiness. A pretty phenomenal study seems to indicate that sunspots are anti-correlated with happiness, aka when the sun is active, when there's lots of solar flares, CME, solar energetic particles, and geomagnetic storms, people aren't as happy. Interesting paper out about a new cosmic model. While it is one of the most complex pieces I've read in a while, it is clear that their model has been made. It works and it doesn't need dark matter or dark energy. We're zooming in now on the northwest Indian Ocean at the cyclone set to head back at India. All ground level lows suck in from all directions and send the air up. Now as we jump to cloud level and higher, we see the suck in has shifted to a release of that flow all the way up to the jet stream. This mirrors the up flow of global electric circuit currents to the ionosphere in low pressure since water and oxygen follow current which means the circuit here is fed by both the highs to the north and in the southern Indian Ocean. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.